You can view the patient information that we have on file, but there, there's no editing allowed for patient insurance at this time. The patient info tab is going to show you the information that we have on file as far as who the guarantor on file is, meaning who is the um, person responsible for the children, the parents, the guardians. Um, that's going to be the guarantor information. Um, the patient information, the address may be different. So the address and date of birth is going to be here as well as the patient's insurance information. Um, you can add a secondary insurance. However, it, this information that you enter does not go into your patient's chart. So if you need to update insurance information, you'll need to do that in the office or via phone. You can edit your profile at any time. The information that you can edit as far as the account goes is the first name, last name, your username, email. You can add a cell phone number if you'd like, and then you can change the password by selecting this orange button here. Anytime that you need to give access to another parent or guardian or someone else who's in charge of the patient's um, medical care at that time, you'll select the participant button. This uh, is a message letting you know that you are giving someone else access to information provided by the patient portal that we cannot choose and pick like, okay, you can have access to this document, but not the other. So it's all or nothing with this. Um, so you can add the participants information. And then um, we're going to give access. So um, giving access is giving general access. Um, when you allow a balance access, that just gives them access to view um, patient information if you have a balance on, on file for that. If you don't want them to see that information or be able to pay any information, don't have that checked. And then allow appointments and allow records. Um, these three have to be checked for participants to have access to the medical records as you are giving them access here. Once you have this information filled out, go ahead and select send invite. And this is where your participant will receive an email invite that um, gives them a link directly to go ahead and set up the account to be linked to your patient. When your participant does complete their account creation, you will receive an email letting you know that your participant has accepted and successfully um, created a portal account. If you have any questions for the doctor and you feel like they're non-urgent and don't require a phone call at the time, you can choose to select the messages on the left-hand side Choose which patient you want to send the message for, and then create a new message. So in here, um, with any new messages, we give you um, message types to choose from. So these, again, are non-urgent questions for the doctor, an insurance update, questions about bills or requests that you need, forms or prescriptions. <clears throat> Once you select which one you want, you will receive a, a screen similar to this for each one, and the green boxes are required information. So you're going to want to put in who's the person filling out the form, so I'm mom and my name, and then the phone number, best phone number to reach you by, because if the doctor does want to call you to discuss this message that you sent, um, this is the best phone number that they have to reach you on. So you may have a different phone number on file or your cell phone may have changed. This is why we require a phone number every time. You can send your message to the provider. 
it lets you know that it was successfully sent. So you don't have to send another message, it does let you know that it was sent. But if you do need, um, oh, I need forms, go ahead and select forms. And this is where this document will come and you'll choose which type of form do you want? Do you want the immunization form, both forms, medical forms, etc.? And then you can hit send. Any message that you do send to the doctors does show up here under the sent box. Let's you come back here and view, okay, what message was sent for the doctor or to the doctor from my baby's account. You will have to actually open it to be able to view the message that was um, sent. Um, anytime the doctor message you, messages you back via the portal, you'll either receive them on your dashboard or you can see them in your received file. Since my doctor hasn't um, replied yet, I don't have anything in the received box, but this is where you will find that information. Hmm. Oops.